Yeah, I'm back again, you know. Do not forget Alpha Omega 07. Please subscribe and share. Press that like button, you know. Whenever I show up, I show up big time. You know, like K.D. Nero says in Sierra Leone, that musician, the rapper, who's not famous all over Africa. He says, you know, it's about to get ugly like Baghdad War. I say it's about to get nasty like the First World War. Yeah, man, you know, please watch my videos, man. Share it all over the world. Because when I show up, you know, me show up big time, you know. Me not play around. Me not play back. I come right in front of me and face problems and troubles in the world. Head on. Hey, the topic I'm to is Amazon. I work for Amazon. I know Amazon. I know most of you get packages, letters all over from Amazon. I did not just know about Amazon. I work for Amazon in a warehouse here in Calgary. Amazon is a multi-billion dollar in industry, you know. They make a lot of money. They, they make so much money, they don't even know what to do with it. It's a multi-billion dollar corporation, you know. But let me tell you about Amazon. The Amazon we're talking about is not the Amazon in Brazil, the Amazon in Peru, that Amazon is something over there. No. We're talking about the real Amazon that making billions of dollars. It's a lot of money. Let me tell you how Amazon works. First thing they do in their warehouse, they hire people who have funny last names. Like Koroma, like Bangura, like Kaba, like Sise, like Martinez, like Sanchez, like Ture. All these funny last names, like last name from India. They only hire new immigrants to work in their warehouse. So what do they do? Even the, they don't want to hire white people too much. Because they know they are smart. They know what's going on. Amazon use people, bro. When you work for Amazon in the warehouse, when you show up for orientation, bro, you think that, oh my God, I just got my dream job. You feel so happy, so oh my God, because you go and sit down in this big couch, the orientation is so nice, you drink tea, they give you something, cake. You say, oh my God, this is my Canadian dream job, or my dream job in the wall. But when they walk inside the factory, the building itself, the warehouse where all the production is done, where the packages are picked, where the unloading is done, then you know you are here, you are in trouble. Amazon is, a, a, listen, I'm one of the strongest working, hard working man on earth. I always say it, I challenge every man. No man can outwork me. No man can outwork me. That's my own theory, that's my own belief. I believe that when I go to work, anybody who knows me that I've worked with, they agree with me that I, I, I don't care if you know the job, but what I mean is different. I don't care if you have more experience on the job, it's different. I don't care if you have the training of the job, it's different. But when it comes to labor, hard work, no man can outwork me, man. That's my own principle when I go to work. But Amazon outwork me, bro. Nobody in Amazon I was working with, my teammate can say he worked more than me. But Amazon men outwork me, bro. When you go to their, their production lines where this, all these passes and everything, they have, this, they have one part of the job called loading. Unload, you load, you unload, you pack it on the conveyor. They have another one called induction, where you have to put a stamp on every single package and know where they have to go distributed. They have another one called uh, diverting, where you have to divert parcels and everything. They have another one called picking, where you have to pick these packages coming from the line. They have another one called uh, doing what's called oversize, where you have to go and pick all the empty boxes and uh, heavy boxes and put them somewhere so that they can be stored and distributed all over the world, or wherever they, they operate. I've done the job. That's why I can describe it. But Amazon, literally, they use people like slaves, bro. What they do is they hire immigrants like us who have funny names, who have never knew in Canada, who have never held position back wherever they born, because we are all immigrants. They hire us with these funny last names, and they put immigrants in charge of immigrants. Man, I've never seen any job on earth where people work like machine. When you work for Amazon, literally you're working like a machine, bro. I used to work for them when 11.50, 1.20 a.m. to 11.50 a.m. 10 hour shift, bro. In that 10 hours, they, they make you work like a machine. You will never, when you work for Amazon, I, when I was working for Amazon, the short time I worked for them, a lot of people came and leave, man. People come one night and just walk away from the line. They can't handle it, bro. Because they treat people like slaves. For example, if you are doing picking, the packages are coming like fucking, like they're coming like, they, they bulldoze you, the packages, bro. 
You get 10,000 packages coming after you in two hours or three hours. You have to pick them. You have two people on the one side and two people on the left side. Two on the right, two on the left. And these packages come after you. Like as if you need like a tsunami. It's like hurricane. It's like tornado. They bombard you with these packages, bro. You have to pick them and put them in different, different boxes. You have no break. You know, when you have a break, two people have to go and other two people have to stay. So when two people leave, and even when there are four people on the line on picking these packages, bro, it's even hard, it's hard already when there are four, two people, you have two people over there. It's already hard. But when, you, when two of them go for break, it becomes harder. Man, I've never seen packages like that in my life. Packages all over the place, bro. You're picking this one, as soon as you're trying to pack that one, there's more than 10,000 waiting for you to pack. You have the you sweat. That's the first time I, my teeth sweat man, when I walk for Amazon. Never happened in my life. My teeth sweat. People at people in Amazon when they walk in the floor, the warehouse, their teeth sweat, bro. It's so hard, bro. They, they make you walk like animal, literally. Slavery is understatement. I was not born during the days of slavery. I know what, what went with slavery, but Amazon took it to a different level. It's a modern day slavery, bro. Amazon is a modern day slavery, bro. They, they go after you like, man, you, you walk like hard. And you have all these immigrants who have never held position where they were born in their life. Their whole life, whether they were born in India or born in Africa, wherever they came from, these immigrants with these funny last names, they have never held any position where they were born. Their origin, their origin countries, where they came from originally. And Amazon come and give them what? They call them managers. These managers literally are slave masters. They enslave other immigrants, bro. They slave you. They make you work 100 times harder than it's supposed to be. They, and these managers get, they get what they call, a, um, they give them some money as bonus on every shift. If they, if they, if they use you, they use their own shift hard, maybe they make people to work harder, they get some bonus every time they get paid. So literally they pay immigrants to enslave other immigrants. That's Amazon, bro. Pay immigrants to enslave other immigrants. Slavery, bro. Serious thing, you know? I mean, I'm not, I'm not talking about it because I heard from somebody. I'm not talking about it because somebody told me I read it on a book. I'm not talking about it because I saw it on TV. No, I work for Amazon, bro. I did work for them. So everything I'm saying, I'm a, I'm a case study. I'm a living witness. They use people too much in Amazon, bro. They work people hard and they don't pay them too much, bro. It's slavery, bro. More than this slavery, bro. How come in the law in Canada says if somebody works 10 hours a day, you're allowed to pay, after 8 hours, you're allowed to pay somebody over time? How come Amazon is putting it to 40 hours a week, 4 days a week, and people have to work 10 hours a day and they don't pay them 2 hours over time? It's illegal, bro. It's against the law. And Amazon is doing it openly. Enslaving people, bro. Not only by them robbing them the 2 hours every day when you're on 10 hour shift, because the law in Canada says, if you work eight hours, after eight hours, anything after that, in a day, you have to get paid over time. And it's a legal, legal job on paper. But Amazon doesn't pay them over time. Instead, they say you work four days, you get 40 hours. So which means in that four days, you get eight hours over time and they don't pay you for that. How come they can get away with that? Why nobody have to speak about, about that? It's wrong. It's illegal. And not, not only that, they treat people like slaves, bro. They, they hire these immigrants with these funny last names to treat other immigrants like slaves. That's Amazon, bro. And it's wrong. If you work for Amazon, believe me, hey, subscribe, don't forget, look at my video, and you, if you work for Amazon in the warehouse, tell me if I'm wrong or right, because I've worked for them, and if you are still working for them, and you have worked for them before, hey, a lot of people quit, I never see a job, people go and quit every night, like Amazon, the short time I work for them, people just come for one hour, they run away, I was, I was working with this Liberian woman, a black woman from Liberia, she came, when she started doing the job, she cannot handle it, no break, no nothing, she cannot even breathe, she took her lunch bag and ran away. She told me she's going to the washroom. She never came back. And not only, I've seen more than 50, 60 stories in front of me, people just walking away from the line. They can't handle it. Amazon is too hard for people, bro. Let them slow down. Somebody gotta tell them to slow down. You can't use people like slaves. People are not machines, they're not robots. How can you, how can a, a corporation like a billion dollar corporation paying people $18 an hour, $20 an hour, and using people like that, and nobody can say something about it? It's wrong, bro. Amazon, stop it. You're killing people, man. You don't pay them too much. You use them too much. Use their energy. You make them work like slaves. You, you literally hire immigrants to enslave other immigrants. Stop it, Amazon. That's why you come after immigrants with funny last names. 
That's why you do that. Because you know we immigrants, we are desperate, we need a job, we need to survive. And then you took advantage of that by hiring one of us to rule us and turn us to slaves. More than this slavery, Amazon. Stop it. It's, not, it's enough, man. The way you treat people in your work is bad. Give them a break. Let them go and have a break and rest. Slow down the, 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 the production line. Slow it down for them. It's not, it's not, it's not good that, that way. You can't treat any human being on, that way. Pay them the extra two hours over time. Pay them for that. It's not right. Let them not work like machines. The human beings are not machines. Stop using them, Amazon. It's wrong. You are working billions of dollars every single year, every single month. And people are there suffering and working hard like machines. And they, you know, somebody said, well, corporations are not humans. Well, I can tell you, corporations are humans, bro. Who own the corporation? Human beings. Somebody said corporations are not humans. Who own these corporations? Human beings. There was a debate between Barack Obama about, about and, and Eric Clinton about this issue of corporations. And Barack Obama said, when, Bill, when Eric Clinton said that um, corporations are not human. Barack said, no, they are humans. They are humans. Corporations are human. Who, who, who get the money? It's a human being. Who what that billion dollar? Yes, it's a billion dollar corporation. But who take that money? Who use that money? Human beings. Who is the CEO? Human being. Who is the owner? Human being. Who is the accountant? Human being. Corporations are humans. They're using people. They hide behind the word corporation just to enslave people, Amazon. Stop it, man. It's enough, man. Enough is enough. Let you give people time to breathe at work. Slow down the production lines. Don't work out people. Don't work them out like, like they're animals. Don't use them like that. Let them work freely and easily, normally. No pressure on them. The lines have to go slow. And also, which is mo the most important, if you, they're going to work 10 hours a day, that two hours should be, they should be paid over time for that. It's a law in Canada. Stop using people, Amazon. Stop turning immigrant against immigrant. Stop enslaving people. It's wrong, Amazon. You know what I'm talking about. Go to the production line and see the, 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 the warehouses, how people have been treated. Go and film it. If you don't believe me, I want you to go, if you're a journalist, go and one day, undercover journalist, and video how Amazon treat people in the warehouse, how they enslave people, how they don't pay them over time when they work 10 hours a day. They don't pay for two hours. It's wrong, Amazon. It's enough. We can't do that more than this slavery anymore. It's over. It's time for Amazon to slow down production lines. Pay people more than they deserve. Pay them there over time. If they work 10 hours a day, two hours is over time. Yeah, man, you know, when we show up, we show up big, you know? I show up real. No bullshit around me, no game, you know? Me no play back, you know? Me step up, you know? I say the truth. And if you don't believe me, please, go do the research and, and say, I'm going to subscribe for that man and share his videos all over the world. Don't forget to subscribe to Alpha Omega 07, you know. When we come, we come big, you know. We don't come with style. We don't talk bullshit. We don't mean face the real truth, you know. Yeah, man, bless, you know, all my viewers all over the world. Whatever social media you fall in, please don't forget to subscribe and share. Don't forget to press that like button, you know. Big up, you know.